Hello fellow coffee botherers, in this video I'm going to be talking about this, the Sage or Breville Creatista Plus. If you're not sure what you're looking at, this is an espresso machine from Sage or Breville and it's more or less the Nespresso version of the Bambino Plus. This is one of the official Nespresso machines along with the likes of DeLonghi and Krups and it's the original line Nespresso, not the Virtuo line. Sage do a line of virtual machines too and I'll link to them in the description. It'll be an affiliate link if you click that or any other affiliate links in the description. Amazon, for example, you're supporting this channel. So thank you very much. What I like about the Nespresso original line in particular is there's a huge range of compatible pods for the original line. So you don't have to go for Nespresso pods if you don't want to. These pods are from Grind in London and there are loads of other UK roasters offering pods these days. Or if you focus purely on price, you can get pods from as little as about 15 to 20 pence each. Would I recommend an espresso pod machine over a portafilter espresso machine? Definitely not. But some people really like an espresso pod coffee. And if that's you, if you really like milkies, I don't think there's a better option than the Creatista machines, as I'll demonstrate shortly. Let's go through the specs first. It's nice and petite, as you can see, and we'll put the dimensions on the screen. It has the same Thermojet heater as a Bambino and Bambino Plus, so the same three second heat up time. 1.5 litre water tank, drip tray with about 100 milk capacity. The used pods bin takes about 12 pods. Pop out cup tray that looks a bit like an old school cassette player. Digital screen, not touch screen, there's a selector dial to toggle through the options. Drink options are ristretto, espresso, lungo, flat white, latte, cappuccino, latte macchiato, and there's a milk option for hot chocolate, for example. Auto frothing steam wand, as with the Bambino Plus, and auto purge. The only difference where the milk is concerned versus a Bambino Plus is you can steam manually with the Bambino Plus, and there's no manual steam option on this. It comes with a sage milk jug and a free box of Nespresso pods. Enough chat, let's make coffee. Flat white. mildly coffee flavoured milk. All right, as far as Nespresso flat white goes, but nowhere near strong enough for me. I'd need all of them. Cappuccino.
And again, nice, but very, very milky. Be fine with another six pods. Well, that's just Nespresso, not particularly the creatist. Latte Macchiato. Again, very nice if you like very milky milkies. If you don't like them very milky, put 12 pods in, maybe not 12, maybe three. I'll now answer the most obvious questions. If I miss any, please let me know in the comments and I'll reply with a short. How hot is the milk? How hot do you want it? There are 11 milk temperature settings from 56 to 76 degrees Celsius, 133 to 169 Fahrenheit. For me, the second or third setting from coolest is perfect. Any more than that, I find it too hot, but each to their own. How simple is it to use? Very simple. You just toggle through the drinks like this, press the start button to start. Or if you want to change something, once you've selected the drink, just press the selector dial. Use the dial to select what you want to change, the coffee volume, milk texture or milk temperature. Press the selector, adjust the setting and press it again. Done. Coffee volume. There's five options from 25 mil to 60 mil. Milk texture, there's eight options, and I just recommend experimenting with the milk or milk alternative you're using to see what works best for you. With Mama Oat, I'm finding three is about perfect if you like velvety microphone, four or five if you like old school cappuccino froth. Are there any negatives? Compared to other Nespresso machines, I can't find any. In fact, this is the nicest Nespresso machine I've used. It's really slick to use. There's nothing about this machine that's even slightly rough around the edges. Compared to the Creatista Pro, though, the more expensive version, the only thing I would say is that I think it's a shame they didn't give this a dedicated hot water spout as they did with the Pro, so you can make one touch Americano and so on. I just think that's such a good feature, and it's a shame that this doesn't have it and that you'd have to pay another £200 just to get that if you weren't interested in the other additional features of the Pro, the full colour touchscreen and the dual thermojet for making coffee and steaming milk simultaneously. The only other thing to point out is you do need to keep the steam wand clean. It does auto purge, but you'll need to wipe the wand each time and just check the tip for blockages. This is one of the biggest complaints I see in reviews, but really it's a small price to pay for the quality of the milk texture this will produce. I do see some complaints in the reviews about the milk texture quality dropping off over time too. My biggest piece of advice about that is to consider using filtered water. If you get the Fox with a pH, water jug filter with the softener refillable cartridge, or the Brita filter jug with the Maxtra Pro Limescale Expert cartridge, I think you'll find you're far less likely to have problems with your milk texture in the future. The final question is, is the Creatista Plus worth it? It's a valid question. There are much cheaper Nespresso machines. For me, the real benefit from these machines is where milkies are concerned. If you're not bothered about milk and you just drink black coffee, possibly not. If you do drink a lot of milkies though, I don't know of any other Nespresso machine other than the Creatista Pro that will produce the kind of milk texture that this will and that will give you the same level of flexibility over the milk temperature. As I've mentioned, the Creatista Pro also has a dedicated hot water spout and dual water heaters, so that will make milkies faster and it will make Americano, so that's worth considering, especially when you can find it on offer. Coffee Ken comment of the week! Coffee and Coils YT says, Love the clip of an old video that looks like it was filmed on a potato. Laughing face, laughing face. No Coffee and Collis. We still film everything on potatoes. Look. 
Ollie, show them. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Potato. Tatty bye. Thank you very much for watching and if you think coffee is even better than a succulent Chinese meal and you enjoyed this video, we've got tons of content about how to make better coffee at home to take you from beginner to home barista. We've got reviews and how-tos on the most popular machines. If you like the sound of that, click on my face to subscribe. Tati bye and farewell. A succulent Chinese meal.